Hello everyone, welcome back to Altius Plays Tron 2.0, the real sequel to Tron, not a stupid film, which is okay, but it wasn't this. Um, we're going to find out what this guy's about compiler at your service. Ah, it's the guy we're looking for. Can you help me with this code? Let's have a look. Why Tron would you call your code compiler Angus 534? Well, sorry, no can do. The process is too complex for my routines. What you need is a high level compiler. I suggest no. you try the progress bar. <laughs> right. First of all, progress bar was turns out not a new not a new joke at all. Um, first of all, I thought progress bar was a funny joke that I made up, but it turns out nope. And secondly, that's not what high level means. Okay. High level refers to high level language, which basically refers to the. There is a, a. I'm probably telling everybody what they already know, but essentially there is what you might call a metaphorical distance between the. Are we on the secret server? Stop doing that. There we are. Um, there is a metaphorical distance between the CPU of a computer and what you as a human being who is writing a program are doing. Essentially, it's the number of other applications that exist between you and getting the computer to do what you actually want the computer to do. I tried to double jump because that's how combat games work. 2003. <laughs> Look, I'm used to the fast paced world of Doom Eternal, okay, so don't come to me with your corruption. Routines. Give me the core dump, you bastard. Okay. Um, the metaphorical distance is not a hella metaphorical. For a start, everything is metaphorical in terms of the computer, right? So you have to sort of allow for that because there is no distance. You're sitting at the same CPU, irrespective of how many actual layers there are of code between you and what you're trying to do. But yeah, there are layers of code. A low level compiler is essentially something that will compile a language. Yeah, written in a low level language. Ow. And a high level compiler will compile code written in a high level language, and oftentimes, to be fair, a high level compiler will compile to a low level language. Oh, hello. But, um, not the lowest level language. For example, your operating system will itself have a, a, a language that it understands, which will abstract away the intricacies of using an actual every piece of hardware is different right so the actual operating system you're blue does that mean i don't kill you <laughs> um, the actual operating system itself has to work on lots of different uh, types of hardware right so you write in a code the operating system understands and the operating system does the right thing uh, in relation to that that was a weird cutscene I find there's a lot of um, <clears throat> identity verification. Mercury, it's me, Jet. Don't you recognize me? My user needs to communicate with me. You mean guest? Yes. The request is urgent. What happened to you? There's a lot of charades. <laughs> like an old version of Mercury got installed. <sighs> Reformatting always bums me out. Let's hit the bar. That'll help. <laughs> um, this is not. Oh, it is. Give me, give me energy. The, the, a certain level of charades where they don't put... This is going to sound rude, but I don't mean it to be rude. They don't put a hell of a lot of effort into the animation. And what I really mean is they don't put the maximum amount of effort they could put into the animation, usually because of budgetary and time constraints, right? It's, stuff needs to be done. Um, I did say that I should upgrade the lol to fit in here, but why don't I just upgrade the armor? <laughs> Um, so you can go in here. Now I can fit more armor in. I, I think I will put the lol in. I, I tab click this if I right click. That's okay. Um, I don't mean charades in the sense of this is nonsense. What I mean is that they cut out a lot of the expressiveness. And of course, this is 2003. There's a lot less capability of both the computer and the... Again, when I say words like this, <laughs> I mean it in the literal sense. People in 2003 were not as good at animation as people in 2020. 
It's as simple as that, right? We were better at animating. We are better at animating now because the craft has advanced. It's as simple as that, right? I'm not disparaging the people who are doing, you know, this sort of animation in 2003 because they were working with, you know, a, a, a older. Sure, give me that. Um, older technology. They had older software and, and older techniques. Oops. Uh, whereas now... We have modern techniques, modern hardware. I just headshot that Joker, do you see that? Yes. Oh, I killed you yesterday. Um, and so, you know, it's probably easier to make a higher quality animation in 2020 than it was in uh, 2003. Just because we have, maybe there is more stuff predefined, right? There's more pre-existing uh, stock animations and stuff like that. Maybe it's much easier now to mocap and therefore... I'm not going to talk to that guy yet, although I, I know what you're thinking. Um, why can't I activate that? <laughs> Progress well. Um, you know, so we don't animate, we just record people and essentially digitize them. Uh, alpha. I don't need alphas of stuff I've already got. I think we're good here, but we'll see. Loosh. Who are you? Whoa! Hold up, script. No permission, no admission. Activate Hi Optimizer. There. I didn't say activate Optimizer on this dude. Where's the Optimizer? <laughs> I saw another. <laughs> you were teasing me with your optimization. Fruits of optimization. Um, so, yeah. It always seems like you're supposed to infer a certain amount of the. The progress, the progress, the, the the scene that you've just seen, because <laughs> English is funny, because it wasn't there, it wasn't originally there. Um, do I have? No. I'm nearly at five foot six point oh though. There's a great place to be because six point oh is the best point oh. Obviously. All right, I'll talk to you. Thank you, young sir. Take this permission as a token of my appreciation. Just what I needed. <laughs> I have now got permission. Wait. Guest will now talk to me. Connecting to IO Grid. What up, guest? Very important. Do not. Guest, do not what? Chad, have you found a compiler? Get out of the yes, data stream. So. Meet me in front of the progress. Talking to guest, this is a time-sensitive operation, and you're just butting in. At least try and get me the opportunity. Give me some time. Oh, it was such a stressful program. I sort of left you at Moana. Moana? But dude's just gone. Completely. Hey, I, I won this game. I gained a level. Nice. This master user Thorn, he's after you specifically. I've heard the same rumors. But why? I fear it's because of the correction algorithms. You mean to tell me that you have the algorithms? Oh, great. Yes, Alan One embedded them into my code. Tron Seems Legacy bad. Code must be capable of protecting the correction <laughs> algorithms. We must hurry and get the Tron Legacy Code compiled. I mean, I know I said that I really enjoy the way that they've anthropomorphized a lot of this, and, and I do. I think it's quite cool that they use a lot of the standard metaphors and stuff. But. Well, not standard, they've invented their own metaphors. Um, right, so this is health, this is energy. Let's get a bit more energy. Um, and a bit more of this. I haven't suffered from transfer rate at all, which is why I've obviously put more transfer rate on <laughs> by accident, because I'm confused by these. Uh, I think these would be smaller originally and actually look like they're associated with the thing above them and not the thing below them. Um, I'm just going to bung everything. There we go, that'll do. <laughs> I haven't got a choice. Um, but sometimes they talk absolute nonsense just to try and fit computery words in. And of course, again, oops, let me do that. Um, in, in 2003, probably made more sense. Now, I know what's coming up. Well, not more sense, but like people were not quite as aware of what the hell was going on. Therefore, this isn't too loud for you, by the way. This is very um, 
break computer. Find a high level compiler for a to be in the I am actually going to just uh, turn that down slightly. Because. I don't seem to count. <laughs> His music? Okay. Um, because I, I find it's probably quite annoying, but I, I apologize. There's apparently nothing I can do about it. <laughs> so you get what you're given. Sorry. Um, I will now update the lol because I'm using it often enough and I do appreciate the lol existing. Um, I can't play anything in that slot in case you were wondering. I think we decided that before. Would you uh, mind, buddy? He's a little busy with my code right now. Is it you? What kind of low sample junk is the DJ playing? Yeah, I agree. This is the HLC. Hello. Literally this? Okay, whatever. Um, what was I saying? Anyway, back in 2003, people weren't quite so au fait with the concepts involved in... Uh, Waiting on the compiler? Join the club, honey. If you have code to compile, better take a number. So, all this may have just not been obviously stupid. <laughs> Tough crowd to tonight? Other not this seems to get a move tonight, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying. I do. What's on the playlist? Whatever the people want, bro, it's all good. Do me a favor, I see number four. Ask around, pick up the bike. Gotcha. Got it, dog. First one, I'm going over here. Of course, as a user, I am morally superior to everybody here. I'm taking here. a poll. What song would you like the DJ to play next? Track six has a great beat. Track six? That's what you call it, is it? And you just like call it something. A name. <laughs> what is your favorite song? I'm not really a music fan. But for some reason, I can't get track three out of my memory. Oh, let me try... Just dropping Excuse the pointer. What is your favorite go. song? I like track six, well. but you know, I'm weird that way. Hey, you're not weird, bro. You're not the only one to have said that. Yeah, let's go in here. Boom. Oh, amazing. Why can't real clubs work that way? Let's get this email and this permission, shall we? I don't know if you use this email address anymore, but I thought I'd give it a try. Junior has convinced the board to sell the company to FCON. What I've heard of them I don't like. The irony is that Mithria has finally computed the correct algorithms for the final piece of the puzzle. So Mithria invented the algorithms that are in her code. That makes sense. Come full circle. Unfortunately, my conscience won't allow me to tell my future employers of this discovery. I've embedded the algorithms in Mithria's code base, but they're encrypted. So even if someone had access to a source code, they'd have a tough time figuring it out. Cool beans. Give me permission. Don't know what we're going to do with this. We're going here. Gold, 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 and permission six. Um, I do not regret the fact that I already have gold of all of those things because, first of all, that's a lot of energy and there's no infinite energy supply in this bar, obviously, because I want you to pay. For I regret everything. And retract my cynicism what about. What's your favorite song? Paid. Oh, yeah, I like you. You don't say too much. <laughs> you get to the point. Excuse me, what is your favorite these song? these Egyptian ladies. Track six is a great song. I wish the DJ would play it. Well, that's three of one and one of the other. Two of the other, so... Guess what we're getting. Got it? This is, by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but the goal here is to distract programs by making them listen to music so that we can use a compiler. Uh... Play track six. Where from? The track is dope. They're all dope. That's why they're on your list. Who's this dude? Oh, you're the compiler and that's your equipment, I guess? Look at you, you're Geordie from Star Trek. Geordie LaForge. High oh, no, you guys. compiler program, right? I mean, you got legacy code from trying to compile. Who told you that? <laughs> Probably Mithria spilling the beans. This would be worth a lot on the net. No. Bad man. So where's Tron? Uh... Tron is retired. I'm going to be the host. Host? That's Tron. Jet, Compile it. I guess that makes sense. So the usual fee? It's on me. I'm born stiff with all these delays. That's lucky because we don't have any money or even any currency. In fact, we've never even heard of a currency. Call signal from guest. I'll go find out what he wants. Why? Last time that was a thing. New Mercury told us. <laughs> Now, we just sort of know it, like someone stabbed us in the back of the head. Uh, that looks bad. 
Oh, we don't need that. I'm gonna save it. I've done a lot of stuff. Glad we don't have to pay for any of this. Also, there's no um, drinks in this bar. <laughs> so, it's just a dance, dancing programs. Dad? No. Mathria! Yo! Good idea. Should have done that before. What happened? What did we do? Come forward, Mathria. You have something I want to destroy. Emperor Palpatine. Mathria, don't move! Do Stay put, my joker. Who I am. I'm Thorn, your master user. You're not my user. Rose Root. There's something different about you, Fruit. But unfortunately, I have no time for messages. So, this is a fun fight. <laughs> We're gonna be doing this a few times. Remember how difficult the. Um... Remember how difficult the other thing was? What's going on here? Okay. I don't remember how to do this fight, but it does not appear that it involves hitting him. Text with me, I'm cool. Okay. I'm hoping these cordons are going to give me the XP back. Because... Good thing I've got good antivirus as well. I just. Let's get up there. Oh, I see, there's a timeout. We have to stop the three of them dying in this time. Please stop throwing viruses at the three. Drunken Deems I remember being really good actually. Nice. Where is my three? <laughs> I'm trying to protect you from someone I can't see. When I can't see you. Need for that. What? The three have died. Okay. I don't know how. There's no indication of whether she's dying or not. Um, I didn't save it at the start of that. Sorry. We can uh, just save it here and skip this. Yeah, yeah that was quick. Okay, I don't mind that. Uh, this is a very quick way of restarting this. No indication of how much the three is dying. <laughs> I can see anyway. Can you see? I like drunken dinner trap. Care to uh, have that? Why are you doing that? Stop that. Not at once. <laughs> Not allowed. Assist. We just like get in the way of this. Ah! Oh! See him charging up the attack like an absolute loser. So. And you have to check your thing at him uh, until he gives up. That's, that seems reasonably manageable. Especially since I can just like whack these spawn count these bastards. Wait, I already have that. I did pick it up. I thought I didn't pick it up, but I did pick it up. To be honest, the sequencer is the way forwards right now. You just have to keep them from doing the thing that they're doing. This fight was way harder in 2003 when I hadn't figured out that I could stand there. <laughs> keep attacking him. He's not, there we go. Probably also haven't figured out how damn good the sequencer was. Let's fix that before it becomes a problem. Uh, it's this one. Wait, nope, this one. Yep. Stop that. I'm hoping that my uh, picking up of these things is sufficient to refill my energy because I don't want to go upstairs. Nice. Whoa! How many do you get? 
I didn't see you manage that. I see you start that. Let's pick this up. Fuck that. <laughs> Told you about that. Don't make me tell you again. Oh, yeah. Okay. This fight was so hard. You just have to keep whacking this loose every now and then. Interrupting this attack and hide from these. And then only the downstairs ones are a problem. See? Easy. <laughs> round two? Do I have to kill him now? Maybe it's the next round this time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spaghettios! What did you do? Tron? Mithria! What's happening? Oh, that was him. <laughs> you two are a user. No, I'm not. Mithria, what happened to your shell? I'm in free. Fight! No, 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 no. Fight got owned. There's many bikes in the system, don't worry about it. One. The legacy code has changed me. Short changed. Did you see that pause? That was dramatic. Oh, here we go. Another 30 minute episode that ends up being 50 minutes. I replaced my mouse ball. Sounds fun, huh? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Never mind. That was my mistake. I did that wrong. Not you. Don't worry. Yes! What do you think I'm gonna do? <laughs> I couldn't see at all. That wasn't very nice, was it? Um, yeah, I did. Continue. Yes. The... Can we turn around? It's basically... I think it started me a little bit further ahead. I was looking behind me going, Ooh, secrets! Because I'm a computer game, a video game. Right? I've been playing Doom. <laughs> um, but no, it wasn't secrets. That was just... The way it is, you know. Missed that. What was that? <laughs> I do vaguely remember this. There's dudes to fight. I didn't even notice them show up in the top corner there. Do you see that? What is this, um... What is this splendid power-up I could possibly get? Remember how we didn't have our amazing light cycle for that previous round? One time. Shield break acquired. And now we have to figure out how to actually whip. Shield break. That's a good start. <laughs> I like that start. More like that, please. In Armageddon, you... I'm stuck inside my own thingy, so I'm trying to make it a bit longer. There we go. You speed up if you are, um... Oh, you died. Cool. Missile blast acquired. Close to another wall? I can't remember if that's true in this one. I'm <laughs> reluctant to uh, test it on my own wall. Where am I going? This way? I can't remember what I was saying before. I know I was talking. <laughs> There's something about the fact that in uh, Doom, you are encouraged to explore. And so when I uh, uh, showed up in a new place, I succeeded in something. My wall or their wall? <laughs> there is not a gap there. You hoodwinked me. Okay, yeah, let's start on the speedy up bit. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? I've already beaten Green Man, so let's... Ooh, I pressed the button, which is not the button to press. I am confusing myself. <laughs> I'm confusing myself, but I'm doing so because 
I, I try to press the direction relative to the camera, not relative to my car, my bike, which I have not been doing ever. It's never been a thing. Shield break acquired. It says shield acquired, but it's a shield break acquired. Ah, you just died! Did you see that? You can crash into a wall while it's descending. <laughs> Shield break acquired. I was going to say I replaced the ball in my mouse, and then it got a little bit loose. Remember that? Shield break acquired. Right, that's how I wanted that to work last time, but you allowed me to uh, take damage, <laughs> which is very rude. Yes, I do not appreciate the very bright thing that I can't see. Thank you very much. Wall reset acquired. Where is this joke? Am I supposed to win? What's happening? Noises, I can hear noises. Yeah, I thought so. Sounded like he was stuck. Now what? I don't want wall reset. Shield break acquired. How does wall reset do it so to make it harder for me? Find the exit ring to end the race. Yeah, except there's a scary god dude floating around. Ta da! Aren't we good at this? Going somewhere. I'm getting out of here. I'm not falling for the hell, trick user. I don't appreciate this Seeker program, but I've already... <laughs> See, again, with the thing, you're supposed to realise that you were erring at the fact that there's a thing behind you, rather than the fact that you've just been caught. I didn't get that. But, you know, it's an old game. Not to disparage. Just consider it a very late review. I found Mithria, saving to disc now. She's already on. Oh, Sir, in memory. Once Alan revealed the location of the correction algorithms, it was only a matter of time before our secret engine found Mathria. Good work, Mr. Kram. Now we can correct the digitization process so there won't be any more mistakes like Thor. Go to phase two. I'm really confused. Thorn, like, res didn't, right? He digitized it. So Please stand by. Dad? Is it you? Jeff? Do the video thing. It worked really well. <laughs> What's wrong with your connection? Lock me in a storage room. I'm accessing game console. Things I can do under the circumstances. Can you get me out of here? Not without the three. Algorithms. Losing my connection. Sense. Sending a better copy of Mercury. I've been instructed to aid you in freeing my user. I will configure the exit port. However, you must remove the security clamp from the array modulator before this can be done. Words, words, words. Mercury, do you not recognize me at all? Do you understand these instructions? Yes, but... Node deactivated. Yes, but... Mom! This place is cool. I love the size of this arena. Seen this? We are not in a new system. We have not reconfigured our things. I have a note Remove the security clamp from the array modulator. Tell me about this thing. A lone binary bit socket located on the lower level controls security clamps locking the rings in place. To access the lower level, the missing bits that control the various data streams must first be found. So we're stuck. I've put caps lock on. My real computers, as in the Linux ones, <laughs> don't have a caps lock. Not in the sense that you imagine it. They have a key, but it is a composed key. This is a thing that you can use to combine characters on your keyboard. Ca combine key presses. I don't have the Y on. Uh, you can combine characters to produce other characters traditionally. Um, you know, accented characters and other foreign things. Um, it's also very useful for producing standard, common, but not, you know, yeah. present symbols like yes. you know, pi and the logical symbols and stuff like that. So, um, I, I appreciate it. 
Okay, you didn't press that one. Permission, just what I needed. And I see that too. And also... Okay. Thought I was under attack. Let's, did we save it? I don't remember. But I'm doing so now. Um, essentially, this means that the caps lock key, instead of turning caps lock on, causes consternation whilst the next two key presses that I use, or possibly more, depending on what I press, um, completely fail to do anything of value. <laughs> Exit port. Okay. Well, we'll put a waypoint in that. Stick a pin in that and we'll see where we get to. It's like a 30 minute episode already. How am I doing so well? I'm recording. No doom today then. I'm happy with that because I don't want to face the level that is coming up. In case you're wondering what that is. Um, I, it's not the final boss because the longer the icon of sins remains on earth the stronger it will become. But it's definitely preventing me from getting to earth to do something about this icon of sin. So if you haven't been keeping up, check out the whole series that's available on, on YouTube because they don't tend to delete things unless you ask them to. Uh, so yeah, if you've been watching this and not been watching that, probably enjoy that. It's very good, uh, very good game and very reminiscent of the series of the uh, original series that we you know, know and love from 1994, 1996, etc. Can't search any of these except this one and a couple of persons. Please don't get me. Oop. I'm having difficulties extracting the correction album with three a code base from Baza. I just have to see. Side note, the amount of legacy code in 3 is rather extensive. Um, that is a, often a valid concern. Quite happy to hear that. <laughs> yeah. What a mess. Who wrote this? Excuse you. Where are you? You're going to be over here now, aren't you? This used to be a lot harder, this game. <laughs> and I've always played it on hard or less not as hard as they call it these days. Are you being AI? I don't like your AI shenanigans. Yeah. Can't remember what drunken dims do, by the way. Yeah. Dim some. we find out. And then we'll end the episode here, I think. We're doing well. Getting somewhere. Have. You don't have fire. Swirling group of energy balls. I think that's what they are attacking me with right now. Um, it's not it's not good enough to replace any of this with. Especially since I'm going to have to fit it in. Uh, might be good enough to replace that and the profiler with. But uh, I'm happy to call this episode here. I hope you're happy to have watched it. I hope that you are enjoying the story of this game. Absurd as it may be. So until next time, thank you for watching. hope that you're enjoying this. And I will see you next time.